We begin two months after the events of the previous Resident Evil at a gas station in the outskirts of Raccoon City, the majority of whose inhabitants have been transformed into zombies due to the spread of the Umbrella Corporation's T-Virus chemical. Rookie cop and newest Raccoon City Police Department recruit Leon S. Kennedy meets college student Claire Redfield, who has come to the city in search of her older brother Chris Redfield, a member of the police department's elite STARS combat unit. Narrowly escaping a horde of zombies, Leon and Claire travel into the city together, where they are almost immediately separated by a zombified semi-truck driver colliding with their vehicle. Shouting to each other over the fiery wreckage, they agree to meet at the police station only to find it overrun with zombies and even more terrifying creatures which, in combination with environmental obstacles, prevent their reunion, forcing them to proceed through the city separately. Leon encounters a woman who identifies herself as FBI agent Ada Wong after she saves him from being killed by an infected dog. In the station's locked jail cells, they discover Ben Bertolucci, a reporter imprisoned by the corrupt police chief Brian Irons for investigating Umbrella. As Ben explains his findings, including Umbrella's development of a new G-virus chemical, he is killed by a creature referred to officially as the T-00 Tyrant and unofficially as Mr. X whose mission is to kill any survivors in the city and retrieve a sample of the G-Virus. Mr. X attacks Leon, who is again saved by Ada, and after which, she agrees to let him assist her in retrieving a G-Virus sample to prove her case against Umbrella. The investigation leads them into the sewers below the station, where they run into Annette Birkin, one of the two scientists who developed the G-Virus, with the other being her husband, William Birkin. Annette fires her gun at Ada, but this time Leon protects her, taking the bullet and falling unconscious from the wound. Ada gives chase, but is trapped in a waste incinerator when Annette locks her in and activates it. Leon saves her again, and together they board a cable car, which takes them into Umbrella's underground laboratory, where Ada kisses Leon. Due to her injury, Ada stays behind, entrusting her mission of obtaining the G-Virus sample to Leon. After obtaining the sample in the Birkin's lab, Leon is attacked by William, who is transformed into a large monster after being infected with the G-Virus. Annette attempts to assist Leon in destroying William, but is wounded. Checking in on Annette after defeating William, she reveals to Leon that Ada is actually a mercenary, not an FBI agent as she claimed, and is only after the G-Virus sample in order to sell it on the black market. As the underground lab's self-destruct protocol commences, Leon encounters Ada on a walkway high above the seemingly bottomless pit in its central area. With her dying breath, Annette shoots Ada who then falls off the walkway and is caught at the last second by Leon, at the cost of dropping the G-Virus sample into the pit below. This is proven futile shortly after, when Leon loses his grip on Ada and she too falls into the pit. Resuming his hasty escape, Leon again runs into Mr. X, and a battle ensues on the cargo lift. Leon is unable to do any significant damage to Mr. X until Ada, who survived the fall, slides a rocket launcher onto the lift from the shadows above, which finally succeeds in destroying Mr. X. Meanwhile, during Leon's adventures, Claire searches Chris's office and discovers that he went out of town on vacation. Shortly afterward, she encounters a large monster stalking a young girl named Sherry Birkin and rescues her. Chief Irons then kidnaps Sherry, locking her in a room inside the town's local orphanage. Upon realizing that Claire has picked up Sherry's dropped pendant, which Iron needs for an unknown reason, he calls Claire to arrange an exchange of the pendant for Sherry at the orphanage. While Claire heads toward it, Sherry attempts to escape, but is cornered by Irons, who is timely killed by the same monster that was stalking Sherry before. Claire arrives at the orphanage and escapes together with Sherry, before being cornered by Mr. X, who is temporarily defeated by the stalking monster. In the chaos, the elevator Claire and Sherry are in crashes, causing Claire to fall unconscious. Annette wakes Claire and explains to her that she is Sherry's mother, and the stalking monster is Sherry's father, William. When William broke his agreement with Umbrella by trying to sell the G-Virus they were developing to the United States military, the company sent in a team of operatives to take his work by force. Upon the team's arrival, William injected himself with the G-Virus as a last resort, attacked them, got shot, and broke nearby T-Virus samples, which spilled into the sewer system, infecting the creatures inhabiting it. William has continued to mutate since into the stalking monster, driven only by a base instinct to spread the virus to the most viable candidate with similar DNA, his daughter, Sherry. After searching for Sherry, Claire finds her in a sewage disposal room, where she was locked in and is being monitored by Annette via security camera for safety. Annette realizes that Sherry has been infected by the G-Virus from William when she begins to exhibit signs of illness. Annette then instructs Claire to bring Sherry to the underground Umbrella Laboratory in order to cure her with a vaccine before the mutations begin. 
After leaving Sherry in the security office at the facility's entrance, Claire journeys to the Birkins lab, where she unlocks a storage device containing the vaccine using Sherry's pendant, revealing its significance. As Claire is returning to Sherry, she encounters Annette, and they are both attacked by William. Annette wounds him with a chemical gun, but is then wounded by him, causing Claire to insist that she go on ahead to Sherry with the cure, while she stays behind to fight William. After temporarily defeating William, Claire returns to the security office, where Sherry has been cured, but Annette dies from her own wounds. A self-destruction protocol is activated by the automated facility system, causing Claire and Sherry to hurry towards the facility's emergency evacuation train. While activating the train, she is contacted by Leon via a nearby security terminal and informs him that she is working on their escape plan. Immediately afterward, William appears, further mutated, and Claire is forced to battle and temporarily defeat him again. As the train departs, Leon jumps aboard, at last reuniting with Claire, who introduces him to Sherry. The three of them are once again attacked by William, who has mutated into his final form, a gigantic monster, and is destroying the train while advancing toward them. Claire engages in one last fight with William in the rear train cars to slow his advance before she and Leon uncouple it from the front car, stranding him in the tunnel while the facility explodes. Having escaped destruction and death, the trio leave the city on foot.